stop some racism. Stop racism? Yeah. I'm probably afraid of that, because then people, people don't hate each other, then people start talking to each other, and then they start talking to each other, they find out <clears throat> who's the problem. Which is? Uh, greedy people. Greedy people. I have a couple things I want to ask you there. Do you, do you really think that some of the guys that you dealt with at yeah. NBC, no, yeah. no names, right, because right. there's lawsuits for that, too, that some of these guys really want to promote racism actively, or is it a subconscious? I, I just think it's part of capitalism, is to promote racism, you know, right? In order to uh, make things work, if you feel better because you're white and you can get a job, uh, you use that. I mean, you know, I would. Absolutely. Say, I'm sorry, Jack, but shit, they say I'm white, I'm going to use yeah, this. Right, absolutely. Get this job, I'm hungry, you know. But, uh, and that separates people. So they keep people separated, and that keeps them from thinking about the real problem. That's, that's as simple as I see it. Probably it's not that simple, but... No, all right, you and I are I, I'm about the same age, right? We're in our mid-30s. How long is it going to take before guys who think like you, and I say guys who think like me, people who don't want to have racism in the country, people who don't want to be oppressing any minority, whatever it is, sexual, whatever minority, really get into positions of power and can change things. You can't get in a position of power, it seems, if you think like that. It seems that the only time you get in a position of power is if you're like the people